first time backstage will have been at London Fashion Week and it was daunting, it was scary, it was energetic and it was fast paced. Lots of girls, lots of people and you're trying to get the hair done in a very, very quick time. So my kit backstage is progressively getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's ridiculous. So I've picked out five of my key items that I cannot live without. My first item has to be my round brush. It's a Kent hairbrush and it's bristle. So it's very, very soft on the hair. It's old school, it's wooden, and it really is great for the hair. That's my number one. I had a huge faux pas as an assistant. I was working for Mr. Guido Palau, probably the best hairdresser in the world. And we were at the Louis Vuitton house in Paris. And one of the models that was there, we extended and put really long hair extensions in her hair. And suddenly he wanted to bring the length up quickly. So I sort of brought the length up quickly, whacked off the back and I cut probably about this much hair of her own hair length off the back of her hair. I have never ever done that ever again since. But you learn your lessons and you won't do it again. So, number two has to be the Babyliss Pro Italia Brava hairdryer. I cannot live without this guy. It's fast and being backstage, I have to work quickly and under pressure. This is the one for the job. So my favorite thing about working backstage now has to be the teamwork, the team effort. Some people can kind of, they disappear and don't like pressure. I kind of want people to learn from it and do really, really great work. So for me, it has to be about leading a team and making sure it's fun and making sure it's energetic and everyone has a really, really good time backstage. This guy, that's right, my leaf blower. This creates the perfect wind when I'm on a photo shoot. So when you see those girls walking down the street effortlessly in a campaign, when they're all together, that's how I've created that beautiful waft of wind. My advice would be to stick at it, work hard, and don't let Instagram and social media think that you can cut corners and do things quickly. Do it well, do it over a long period of time, and make sure that you learn. I'm always learning. Make sure you take that on and you work with it well. Number three. Is that number three? I can't count. Number four. Number four has to be the Babliss Pro Titanium Expression 25mm Curling Tong. Now it's really important, it's not too big and it's not too small. 25mm is the perfect tong for me to create that effortless beachy hair backstage on photo shoots. This week we shot Adriana Lima for W Magazine. Uh, and I created, I think, some of the biggest hair I've ever created. I used three wigs and it was huge. And I mean huge. Very kind of 60s inspired, but big hair. I'm talking, her hair was sort of almost as big as this room. Number five, cannot live without my Sid pin. I'm very into hair accessories, have been for a while, so we created a kind of effortless, easy top knot pin. We have four different colours, black, silver, rose gold and gold, and it ranges from £60 and it goes up to £3,000 when I created two diamond versions with a jeweller. So my favourite city to work in when it comes to shows would probably have to be London. It's my hometown, I get to be very creative with lots of young designers and working with those kind of people inspires you and makes you even more creative. Those are my top tips about being backstage and on photo shoots. Don't forget to subscribe.